Hey guys, in this video let's talk about Google Maps. So Google Maps can be brought into Ionic 2 applications using the Cordova Google Maps plugin. So let's see how to use that uh, in your Ionic 2 applications. First of all, I have scaffolded out a new application here uh, uh, and I'll go ahead and install the Google Maps plugin now, Cordova Google Maps plugin now. So uh, installation, it has separate instructions for Mac and Linux and separate instructions for Windows, so kindly go through the instructions. Uh, I'll uh, show you how to do it in a simple way. This is the Maps plugin, right? So we need to install the plugin using this command. But if you notice in this command, there is a, your Android API key is here. We need to give a key, right? We need to specify a key. So to get that key, go to console.developers.google.com, create a project. And in that project dashboard, click on enable API. And here, click on Google Maps Android API. Click on enable. It's enabled, right? So now just go ahead and click on credentials and click on create credentials. Click on API key. It has created a new API key, right? Uh, this key won't work for you. You have to create your own key since I'll delete this key. Uh, as soon as this video is uploaded. So I'll copy this, close it, and then uh, I'll open this, open up app.html, simply paste the key here, and then copy this entire thing. Paste it here. Okay, now we have added the plugin for uh, Google Maps, right? Along with the API key. Now the next step to this is uh, installing the native wrapper for using this Ionic native uh, plugin in our Ionic 2 application. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and do npm install uh, at Ionic native, Ionic hyphen native slash Google hyphen maps. Okay. Let this get installed. We'll start using this in our uh, application. Go to app.module.ts as usual. This is, you know, uh, this is a regular process, right? Import uh, Google Maps from at Ionic hyphen native Google Maps. Save this, add this as a provider, Google Maps, save this. Uh, app.html is not needed we'll just remove this entire thing save this close it off uh, go to pages now what we'll do here is uh, we'll have a uh, separate uh, div called maps okay with an id maps and what we'll do is once the app loads we'll load a map in that specific div let's see how to do that Okay, in home.html uh, div hash map id equal to map style equal to height 100 percentage I'll use the semicolon and slash t. Okay, very very simple piece of code. I'm just giving a div and uh, inside home.ts what I'll do is uh, first import maps, import google map from at ionic, sorry, uh, at ionic native slash google maps and uh, I'll make use of this uh, load map, I'll have a function, uh, this function I'll 
call after the view units ng after view init uh, this dot load map okay very simple piece of code once the view is loaded we need uh, that means that the div has been loaded into our uh, view and we can load the, we can call this load map function that's all so uh, let me get into uh, no, sorry load map uh, in this first we will get the div here so let element equal to this dot uh, uh, not this dot document doc dot get element by id map okay we got that and the next one is we'll create a map let uh, map of google map equal to uh, this dot uh, not this dot new sorry uh, public Google Maps Google Maps this dot Google Maps dot create element options okay very 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 simple piece of code guys so what i am doing is i am creating a new map and then uh, where i am placing this map is the element element is nothing but the uh, div which we gave in our uh, view so let's run this app in our mobile device and see how this functions how this works so and let's see uh, if we have made any errors as well so i'll connect my mobile device guys just give me a minute so uh, as you can see here uh, our app is now open and uh, a google map has been loaded inside our application right but the google map has been run, uh, loaded at a random location like africa is shown in the center and uh, atlantic ocean is shown, uh, shown so if you wanted the map to load at a specific location say new york for instance so you you can specify that location using latitude and longitude guys let's see how to move the camera position to a location where we want uh, the map to be loaded inside our application so uh, we'll first get the coordinates of latitude and longitude okay these are the latitude and longitude of new york city so let's get back here first i'll close this my laptop is as i have said in my mini oh and then oh sorry guys I didn't uh, this time too. I didn't increase the font size. Right, last time itself, you guys were all. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Uh, now, uh, as I said, uh, to move the camera position to a location where we want the map to be loaded uh, while the app loads, is we need to use so make use of latitudes and longitudes, guys. Uh, so first, I'll import the class, and then what I'll do is I'll uh, import the camera position. Uh, and then what uh, one more thing i'll import is google map events google map events is nothing but uh, uh, several events will get triggered when we make use of the google plugin uh, google map plugin in our application we can monitor those events and make our app respond respond accordingly so that's uh, i'll show you an example rather than me talking so uh, first what we'll do is we'll make uh, lat long variable latitude and longitude uh, new lat uh, long for this we'll give the numbers or oh, the mouse won't work seventy four point zero zero five nine right seventy four point zero zero five okay uh, now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and uh, create a position let position uh, this will be camera position equals uh, target this will be latitude and longitude and uh, zoom we can specify some zoom right because the uh, map was a bit zoomed out so i'll specify 10 or something like that and uh, tilt will be around uh, 25 okay or 30 okay uh, then we'll move the now uh, the other thing to notice is that we should uh, perform the all this moving and zooming and everything after the map gets loaded right so what we'll do is we'll write this entire thing inside map dot 
one one uh, oh, google maps event dot map ready once the map is ready all these things should happen right so then uh, okay now i'll write this entire thing sorry and say this and then map dot move camera to position okay a very very simple piece of code guys what i'm doing here is very simple uh, i am making use of the google maps event to know when the map is ready and then i am specifying a latitude and longitude and simply moving the view of the user uh, view uh, to that specific location on the map when the map gets loaded that's all i'm doing so let's run this now and see uh, the end result so that you'll get a better understanding of what i'm saying so oh not this one i only run android okay it has loaded let's see let's see what happens let's see hopefully it should load fine i guess okay that is definitely not new york i guess let me just check in my mobile by zooming out a little this is somewhere between kyrgyzstan and oh oh i think i gave the coordinates wrong 47128 north and 74 west right for oh west is oh sorry guys silly mistakes west is my negative right we should give a negative sign now let's see run the app again hopefully it should go fine see it loads up in new york right so so far so good guys we have learned how to uh, bring in the map inside your ionic 2 application and how to uh, move to a move the camera to a specific location when the map gets loaded right now uh, this is what i wanted to show you guys today i'll just say one more simple thing as a bonus stuff i'll show you how to place a marker in this map my markers are highly essential i mean highly useful right uh they will provide a good visual aid to anyone who is looking at a map for a first time to highlight the important uh, places or cities in the map so let's see how to add a marker and then we'll wrap up this entire video so what i'll do is wrap adding a marker is very easy guys uh you just you need to use a what was that class called uh, marker options okay marker options and uh, marker okay now what we'll do is let marker options marker options equals uh let marker options marker options equal to uh position lat launch and uh, title title will be my marker okay uh, very simple now uh, let marker uh, equals equals map dot add uh, marker uh, marker options mark options dot then inside this we will have obviously the marker and uh, uh, marker dot show info window okay very simple piece of code what it will do is it will place a marker on new york and uh, uh, latitude longitude we are given for new york right new york and then the marker will have a title my marker and uh, it will show a small info window in which the title of that marker is written that's what's going to happen guys so let's run this to see how the end result is okay our marker is not uh, okay let's see where we went wrong so the code is fine why 
oh, okay the map this should come inside this right once the map is loaded only we can place markers on it right as you can see the marker is present exactly on new york city right that's where we wanted the marker now this is what this is these are very simple stuff that and that you can use i mean these are very simple stuff that you can do using the google maps plugin in ionic 2 applications guys there are a lot of other things you could do as well but since this is a beginner video on uh, how to make this work i thought uh, i'll end this video here and i don't want to make it too long as well but if you would like to see more options or uh, more things on how what else we could do with these maps plugin kindly drop a comment and uh, let me know so that i'll make another video uh, which will be useful for you guys as well so i think i would i have provided a basic idea of how to bring in maps into your ionic 2 applications and uh, uh, move the camera around in the maps and place markers uh, markers here and there in the maps and all that so play around guys uh, explore it yourselves and uh, you will probably get to know uh, more cool stuff like this and um, yeah guys that's what i wanted to talk to you guys today if you like this video kindly hit the thumbs up button and uh, uh, if you really like this video kindly share it with someone else and help them too if you see someone struggling kindly share it with them uh, share it on uh, tweet it tweet about it and whatever and uh, if you like what i'm doing on this channel hit on the subscribe button uh, to stay subscribed to watch more cool stuff like this and uh, yeah guys that's it i'll talk to you guys in my next video bye